In 1999, I enlisted in the United States Marine Corps. And when I enlisted in the United States Marine Corps, I raised my right hand and I swore an oath to protect the Constitution of the United States from all enemies, foreign and domestic. And so as we sit here debating statues, we all need to keep in mind that these statues represent the domestic enemies that I swore an oath to uphold the Constitution from. Now we can paint them in any light we want and say that we should make up our minds about what they meant, but in reality, they were traitorous insurrectionists who sought to subjugate an entire race of people because of the color of their skin. And they felt so strongly that they should be allowed to own another human being that they were willing to throw the Constitution of the United States out of the window and join a movement to literally kill their fellow United States citizens to preserve that right. Now, we don't keep statues to those who have made an enemy of the United States. While they, the Confederates may have been given a pardon, while the Confederates may have been told uh, that their actions would not be held against them, no one made a promise to any Confederate that we would celebrate them in 2017. And we certainly made no promises to put their statues prominently on a historically relevant park where men and women of color were sold and bought like items. Council members, as you consider what to do with these statues, I want you to carefully consider where the proper place for things that celebrate those who rose up against the United States government so that they could maintain the power to own their fellow man.